Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on customer registration model. Then we will register customer into database. So let's start. First of all, come here to customer folder and uh, inside this directory, we will create here one file. This file name will be models.py. Inside this model, first thing here will be import database from shop import db and then from date time import date time and then I will start the class class name will be a register and here will be db your model and the first thing here id should be equal to db dot column or should be small and this one is db integer and with the primary key equal to true and the second one will be name this one has a db dot column and this is db column of string I will make it 50 and then here I will just make it unique false unique equal to false and then I will copy this one paste it here this will be username and uh, unique of this one is true second one be then next one from here will be email also true and then then will be here the next thing is password so i will paste it here password will be 200 unique will be false and then here after password will be i guess country let's see here after password we have a country and then state city contact then will be then will be state after state will be city after that we have here contact after contact address and zip code this will be address then will be zip code so let's see here after zip code we have profile right here profile I'll make it also 200 this name will be prof file and unique files I will give it default this will be equal to this I will write here name just profile the jpg the last thing here I have to do this will be date created and that will be equal to db column db out date time and here will be nullable equal to false and default will be equal to the time dot utc now and then i will just return for this and define double underscore wrapper double underscore this will be self and return here i had to return this register 
this table name should be register here should be s and then let's come put it here then percentage r and come outside percentage self dot name return here name this one is done here now we are done from here i will just write here db create all so we will create this table and the next thing we have to do i will come in here route first of all i will import this from dot model import register so then i will come here inside this route if request dot method equal equal to post then what i will do first thing here will be i will hash the password then be hash password equal to okay i have to import that be crypt and this will be backup dot generate hash password and inside i will pass here form dot password dot data and then i will pass here one variable this will be just a register equal to a register here first we have a name equal to form dot name dot uh, data then will be username will be equal to form dot username dot data and then will be email equal to form dot email dot data and then we have a password be equal to hash password and after the password we have uh, country state city so that will be country so be equal to form dot country dot data and then state this will be equal to form dot state dot data and then i will have here city this will be equal to form dot form dot city dot data and then we have address will be equal to form dot address dot data and then after address we have zip code zip code equal to zip code form dot zip code dot data and the other two things will come automatically because we give here default value so we don't need these two now for now after that i have to do here db dot session dot add so i will add i'll add this register variable and then i will write here flash message this will be here welcome i will give it form dot name dot data so here i have to pass f so then after that i'll just write here thank you thank you for registering and this is a small simple message here the category will be success and then 
I will come here return redirect to the this will be URL 4 and here I will just come to login so normally it will be customer login now, now we don't have this login so I, customer login I will just simply go to login page now let's see if we have any errors or we are going to successfully add the user to the database I will just come here run then run the program K okay, program is running we don't have an error here so I will come here then come here to customer register so here we have this customer register now should be not there should be here then I will just write book T here will be also book T so then I will give it here from our password and password this country will be Switzerland and you see some dummy contact some dummy address and some dummy zip code so now I will click here to register okay now you can see we are redirected to login page that means we are successfully add our user to the database it is not committed yet so from here we don't have any error that's a good news so now I will come here to the database I will just have to do what date dot db dot session dot commit so just this thing so now we committed our user now it will go to inside the database okay I have to rerun here so what I can do I will come here and just go back one step then test and this okay so now we are here if I log in from here so okay we have this message here now we are successfully registered our user there I will come here suppose if I do the same we will get error of the unique here so unique constraint fail register email because of the unique in next video we will check if user is already in database then we will send a message to the users this username is already taken that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye